Hi everyone, welcome to Lipstick on a Rig. Today we're gonna to be making this wine tote or champagne tote as part of our two skein challenge for Mother's Day. For this project, you're gonna need a size F or five crochet hook and two different skeins of yarn. We're gonna start with a magic circle. And if you're unfamiliar with any of the stitches used in this pattern, then check the links in the description and I'll have some tutorials listed there. Once you have your magic circle, we're just gonna place 12 double crochets inside of it. And once you have your 12 double crochets inside your magic circle, go ahead and tighten up your tail to close the gap there. And then what we're going to want to do is just place one slip stitch in that first double crochet stitch. From here we're going to chain two. And then we are actually going to place one more double crochet in that original stitch here. So the stitch that we just chained off of. And then we're going to continue placing two double crochets in each stitch around. And we should have a total of 24 stitches when we're done with this row. And when you get to the end of your row, you're just going to want to place a slip stitch in the top of that chain two stitch. And then you're just going to want to chain two again. From here, you're going to want to place two double crochets in the next stitch. and then one double crochet in the next stitch. And you're just gonna wanna repeat that alternating between one and two double crochets for the rest of your row. And when you get to the end of your row, you should have 36 double crochets and all we're gonna do is place a slip stitch in the top of that chain two stitch. So from here, you're just gonna wanna chain one and then place one single crochet in each stitch across. And when you get to the end of your row, you're just gonna wanna place a slip stitch in that chain one stitch. And you're just gonna wanna repeat that row two more times, so chaining one and then placing one single crochet in each stitch across so that you have three rows of single crochet stitches. And when you get to the end of your row, it should look something like this. So go ahead and insert your hook in the top of that chain one stitch. But instead of yarning over with your current yarn, go ahead and grab your new color like this. And what we're going to do is we are just going to yarn over and pull through for a slip stitch. From here we're going to chain two. And then this is kind of weird, but what we're going to do is we're going to insert a double crochet in the stitch directly before our chain two stitch. So not going forward, but backward one. And make sure that you're not inserting your hook into the slip stitch. And now from here we're going to move forward again. So go ahead and skip one stitch and then place a double crochet in the next stitch. And then we're going to place a double crochet in the skipped stitch. And then we're going to skip a stitch again and place a double crochet in the next stitch. Now we're going to place another double crochet in that skip stitch. And that's going to be your pattern going all the way around your row. Skipping a stitch and then placing a double crochet and then placing a double crochet in the skip stitch. And when you get to the end of your row, it should look something like this. So what we're going to do is we're going to insert our hook into the top of that chain two stitch there. And we're just going to yarn over with our original color. From here, we're just going to chain one and place one single crochet in each stitch across. And from here, we're just going to place a slip stitch in the top of that chain one stitch. So we're just going to repeat that for two more rows so that we have three rows of single crochets. And then we're going to repeat this crisscross pattern again. And we're just going to keep repeating this pattern of three rows of single crochets and then this crisscross pattern over and over and over again until we get this wine koozie to our desired height. As you can see, I went ahead and repeated this pattern down here seven times. And I went ahead and crocheted one row of single crochets. So once you're done placing your row of single crochets and you've slip stitched into that first chain stitch there, go ahead and chain 10. And once you have your 10 chains, we're gonna skip nine stitches. We're gonna insert our hook into the 10th stitch and place a single crochet. From here, we're gonna place one single crochet in the next eight stitches so that we have a total of nine stitches with single crochets. 
Once you've placed your nine single crochets, go ahead and chain nine. And once you have your nine chains in place, go ahead and skip nine stitches again. And inserting your hook into that tenth stitch, we're going to place a single crochet. From here, we're just going to place one single crochet in each stitch between the handles. And when you see that you've gotten back to your slip stitch, you should have eight single crochets in place. So now go ahead and insert your hook into that first chain. We're going to place a slip stitch. Once you have your slip stitch in place, go ahead and chain one. And then you're just going to want to place one single crochet in each of these chain stitches that form the handle. And you should have nine total single crochets when you're done. From here, we're just going to place single crochets in between these two handles and then again on these chain stitches here. And once you've placed your nine single crochets between the handles and then again on the chain of your second handle, go ahead and place single crochets between the handles here. And once you get back to your slip stitch, go ahead and skip the slip stitch and place a slip stitch in that first chain there. Go ahead and chain one again, and now we're just going to place one single crochet in each stitch across going all the way around your row. And you should have a total of 36 single crochets, including this chain one stitch when you're done. And make sure you skip that slip stitch and go ahead and insert your hook into the chain one stitch for a slip stitch. And from here, we're just going to repeat that last row three more times. After you've repeated this three more times, just make sure that you go ahead and place your slip stitch the end of your row and then we're going to tie off our yarn. I went ahead and hid my tail going down the side of the handle there. And now I'm just going to tie together all of these tails where I switched my yarn color. Just to, going to secure those together by tying them a few times, maybe three. Don't forget to save all of these small tails that you clip off. Once you're done securing your tails, go ahead and turn your wine tote inside out and it should look something like this. Please let me know in the comments below if you experienced any issues while you were trying to make this and I will do my best to help you out. If this video helped you, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel, Lipstick on a Rig. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful, awesome day.